Hello, it's Yasmin from Tiny Time Big Results. And today I want to address a question that you might be asking yourself. And the question is, I'm doing so many courses, I'm attending so many webinars, and yet I'm still no further along. What's with that? What is going on? And the reason I want to address this is because there are three big reasons why actually all of those courses and webinars and all the training that's out there could be actually seriously detrimental to you and your business. Because when you have limited time, when you have tiny time, you need to be extremely laser focused and very specific and know exactly what you do with your time so that you can get the most out of it. And you only have a few hours a day, you have to be really, um, I hate to use the word strict, but you need, need to be disciplined with yourself with where you spend your time, what you're doing, who you're doing them with, and to make sure that you get the biggest bang for your buck. So what I want to kind of address is that you, know, you often hear people saying you need to invest in yourself, you need to invest in your learning, and you, know, you wouldn't just turn up and you know, one day and say, I'm going to be an electrician and just start being an electrician. You, know, you need training and you need knowledge and experience to be able to do all of those things. You know, it's the same if you were suddenly you know, became a baker and then you thought, okay, yeah, I'm just going to bake cakes now. You know, there's a learning curve and it's the same with business. There is absolutely a learning curve. And so you do need to invest time and energy into doing the, the trainings and the, you know, the webinars um, and all of those things. None of those things are bad or they're not a waste of time, but you have to make some very key distinctions about where they fit in for you in your business, especially obviously when you have tiny time. So I suppose it, I was kind of motivated to create this video, uh, this podcast, however you're consuming this content, uh, because I often, you know, when I'm doing sales calls, for example, you know, I'll often hear people saying, you know, I've done um, an online course creation program, I've done a Facebook ads course, I've done list building course, I've done, duh, 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 and they're like literally just listing them off. And you know, and they're like, but I'm still not further along. I'm still not, you know, building traction in my business. I'm still not getting that sense of momentum. And so let me kind of address some of those things because sometimes you think you're doing the right thing and actually it's, it's a distraction and it's a derailer. And first of all, I would ask, you know, yourself that question, like, is the learning a distraction for you? Are you using it as a distraction so that, you know, you actually can avoid doing the calls or you can avoid doing the work that gets you the results? And that might be picking up phone call. It might be, you know, making contact with people. It might be going to that networking meeting. Instead, you're kind of telling yourself that I'm investing in myself. I'm developing myself. Look at me. I'm, you know, I've attended so many webinars. I've, you know, filled, uh, finished this course. But actually, all of those things aren't necessarily the, you're not doing it for the right reasons, that you're using it more as a distraction. You know, I, I do hear this where people say, you know, well, I'm just going to finish this course and then I'll be ready to go and do X, Y, and Z. Why can't you do both? Why can't you spend, you know, half an hour or allocate time to do a piece of training um, and still do the work that gets you the business? Because this alone will not get you the business. You need to take action as well. And that's one of the key, I suppose, that's one of the key reasons why I, whenever I'm creating training, I always do them in bite-sized pieces so that somebody can say, okay, that's only a 15-minute slot. I can fit that in and then I can go and do this instead of having it be an hour long and then that takes up an hour. You might not necessarily need the full hour's worth of contents either. So is that potentially a, a, a use for your learning is that it helps you and it distracts you from actually doing the work that maybe you're feeling a resistance to doing, like networking, like, um, you know, connecting with people and actually, you know, having sales calls. So is it that you're learning a distraction, you know, so that that's the reason why you're not actually moving further along because you're not doing anything with it. You're just doing the learning and, and you need both. Okay. Secondly, I, I do believe that for a lot of these courses, you could potentially be putting the cart before the horse. So, you know, I do not believe in, in investing in, say, Facebook advertising courses unless you have something that you're ready to sell 
Otherwise, you're just going to be lining Zuckerberg's pockets and you're not going to be actually creating a return for yourself. And what I mean by that is, you know, what is the end result? What do you want someone to do when they, you know, land on your blog post or whether they, you know, take your free uh, opt-in gift? You know, do you have a journey for them so that, you know, they might buy something that's a, a low cost to them? Uh, do they book in for a, a consultation with you? If those things are not clear and defined before you do the Facebook advertising, you're just throwing money down the train. You really are. And so sometimes if those things aren't clear and you go and do a Facebook advertising course, you're just throwing money down the toilet, honestly. And it's, it's no, it's no use to you. And then you'll be sitting there thinking Facebook advertising is rubbish. It doesn't work for me. And you know, and then you'll have a huge amount of resistance ever doing those again. And, and actually they could be really lucrative for you, but it's just because you didn't get the, the other pieces right first. And then I suppose the third kind of reason why maybe you're not further along is that you're just getting overwhelmed because you're doing so many courses and you're thinking, what do I do? You know, so earlier on, I said like, you know, you need to do both. You need to be learning and you need to be implementing as well. Um, so that, you know, your, what's that, what's that phrase? Um, learn and earn, you know, so it's not just learning, you are earning as well, which is crucially important in business but you also need to be you know you you're probably thinking oh my god i've got so much information in my head right now that i can't think straight i don't know where to start i don't know what to do and that is oh it's classic it really is i know i've sat here sometimes and thought oh my god what am i going to do I've, my head's full of information and you really kind of have to step away from the learning and and implement even if you only do one piece of the course and you actually go and implement that you know, that's far better than consuming a whole course and never doing anything with it. And that for me is a real bugbear because, you know, if you're going to do some of my training, then I really want you, whether it's free or paid, I want you to implement because that's how you get results and that's how you'll know that the stuff works. Um, and so implementation is crucial. So how do you get around this? You're probably thinking, yeah, well, Yasmin, I've done loads of courses now. And I'm still no further along. What do I do? How do I rectify this? How do I get moving uh, again. So here's what I suggest. This is my recommendation. After you've watched this, heard this, listened to this, whatever, read this, um, I want you to just take 10, 15 minutes, right? Uh, you have to write immediately. But find some time to do this because this will be a really useful activity and it will save you a lot of time and it will save you a lot of money as well. So listen up. Here's what I want you to do. Okay. So take some time. And I want you to map out what your neck, what your goals and priorities are going to be over the next six to 12 months. OK. And what you're going to do is you're going to maybe outline three to five. No more than that, because they're big goals and big priorities and you can't do everything, especially when you have tiny time. You can't do everything. So map out what your five to sorry, three to five goals, priorities are over the next six to 12 months, not three years, not five years, six to 12 months. OK. Then what I want you to do is I want you to look at that plan and consider this question. Do I have the knowledge and resources to be able to deliver on this? Okay. Do I have the knowledge and resources to be able to deliver on this? If you don't, if there's a gap, that's what you need to fill. That's what you focus on. So when somebody you know, comes up and says, okay, I've got a list building course and you think actually that looks really good and that fits perfectly in the gap that I have, that's a sound investment. If somebody comes along and writing a book or publishing a book is nowhere near your priorities and somebody says, oh, I've got this great program on how to publish your book. And you look at your priority list of, you know, for the next six to 12 months and you go, well, book isn't in the plan at all. Then you can ignore that. You know, you don't have that fear about, you know, that you're going to miss out. You put that to one side. You say, that's not in my priority list. Uh, if somebody then you know pops up and says, I've got a fantastic course that's going to be around your selling skills. And you think, yeah, that's a big gap for me. Um, I can see that I really need to you know, close this gap in order for, to help me achieve my you know, big goals. Then that is a sound investment. If it's the right fit and, you know, the price is right and it all looks good and, you know, you're happy. That's a sound investment to make. And that's what I suppose that's the approach that I want you to take. It's that whole idea of it's just in time learning. You know, it's just what I need right now, not 
oh, I might use that information or I might decide to publish a book or I might decide to start a podcast. No, no. Look at your priority list for the next six to 12 months and look and see where the gaps are. Then you go out and fill those gaps. They're sound investments. You can ignore everything else. Isn't that a great sense of relief? So, you know, be mindful. Yes, investing in yourself and developing your skills and your techniques and your strategies is crucially important. Absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt. I've been a trainer and coach for 17 plus years. So, you know, this is a topic very, very close to my heart. But you've got to make sure that it's the right training and development for you and for your business. And is it going to move you along? If it's not, put it to one side. Don't be afraid that you're going to miss out because trust me, these things come around and the, when it's the right time, it'll be the right time. You will not miss out. All right, my lovelies, I hope that's been useful to you and uh, let me know in the comments uh, your thoughts and uh, kind of any key takeaways from what I've shared today. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, if you're struggling with this, then don't forget to book your tiny time triage call with me. It's a free 15 minute call and we can kind of get to the nitty gritty. And if you have, you know, if you're in that position of you've done loads and loads of courses and you're still no further along, come on a triage call and I bet you I can help you pinpoint exactly what you need to work on right now so that you can actually move forward and build that momentum. So use the link below uh, wherever you're reading this, watching this, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Take care.